Hi, I'm Mike, technical product specialist with Wagner. Do you know when to use chemicals during brake pad installation and what kind? The answer is it can vary depending on the pad design. Let me explain. In general, in all disc brake designs, the caliper rails or abutments, the area where there's this metal to metal contact with the brake pad plate happens, should be cleaned and lubricated with Molly Lube. Guide pins should be lubricated with silicone brake lubricant. Molly Lube or petroleum based products should not be utilized with caliper guide pins as it will adversely affect the rubber guide pin boots. When installing disc brake pads with constrained layer shims already attached to the brake pad plate such as Wagner OEX, Wagner QS, or Wagner SD, you should put a slight coat of silicone lubricant on the back of the shims in this area right here. This will serve as an additional noise suppressant. Do not put any other chemical compound on the back of the shim. Compounds that are tacky might cause the shim to be pulled from the back of the disc pad plate. Chemical compounds such as Molly Lube or other products that have a petroleum base should not be used. Petroleum based products can have an impact on the rubber in a brake system. Following these guidelines will help ensure optimal function and service life. For more information, visit wagnerbrake.com.